Next, NG Moco. NG Moco is a startup company that was created to develop games exclusively for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. In fact, they were one of the first companies funded by the iFund, which was, which was announced a year ago here on the stage by Kleiner Perkins. To give you a sneak peek at a couple new games they're working on, I'd like to invite up Neil Young. Neil? <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Um, we uh, created our company because we believed that the iPhone could revolutionize gaming. It is such an incredible device for playing games on. With multi-touch and accelerometer for controls, rich graphics and sound, access to your media, it's a wonderful device. But more importantly, it's always on, it's always with you, and it's always connected to the network. And it's the potential of that network connectivity that is so exciting to us as game makers. It can enable new types of social play, new types of gameplay experiences, and new ways for us as game makers to commercialize our work. Uh, Touch Pets Dogs. Now, let me jump immediately into something totally different, which is live fire. Uh, we are so excited. <laughs> We're so excited, NG Moco, to bring really the king of all gaming genres to the iPhone uh, with the features of SDK 3.0 that really allow us to take our vision and push the genre forward in places it's never been before. So I'm going to launch into a global game server with other players. I think we'll run into Tim, who's our lead engineer. Right now, I just pressed anywhere on the left side of the screen uh, to create a touch control with our Touch Anywhere controls. I can move, I can look, just like any first-person shooter. I tap the center of the screen and I can zoom. We also have just shake the jump. Oh, wait a minute, there's Tim. Oh. All right, that didn't take long. <laughs> so if you've ever played a first-person shooter for the first time, that may have happened to you. Now, our answer to that in Live Fire is a call for help. So thanks to SDK 3.0, I'm just going to pull up my NG Moco friends list. Now, Neil, who's not only made a lot of first-person shooters, he's pretty good at playing them. I'm going to send him a push notification. I don't care if he's out to lunch right now or he's on stage giving a presentation. Nothing's more important than helping me out right now. So in a moment, uh, Neil should probably join the global server. Hopefully, you'll accept my uh, invitation, Neil. And while we're waiting for him, I can also bring up um, one of the other features, which is in-app commerce. And I'm going to just level up my firepower. There's a lot of items here that I could purchase right now. How about a rocket launcher? Yes. OK. So now, armed with rocket launcher, and uh, there's Neil. Hey, Neil, why don't we uh, try and take the high ground? I've got a wingman with me now. Again, features that really were not possible before SDK 3.0. Now we've got wingman and teammate. We're going to cruise around, see if we can pin down Tim. Going down. You see him? Oh, wait, he just jumped down here. Come on, down, down, down. I'm going, I'm going. Moving the back, moving the back. All right. So that's a world exclusive first look at Live Fire. We're so excited to bring this exclusively to the App Store later this year. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. You know, NGMoco continues to amaze us, both with the quantity of applications they're creating and the quality. And I have no idea how they have the same developers writing both those applications. <laughs> uh, 